we have discovered a treasure trove of fashion in Butte, Montana at the Copper King Mansion Bed and Breakfast. So we've been going up and cataloging their collection of apparel, shoes, furs, um, and home decor items. And we have been compiling a record for them and for us digitally that we can use here on campus. The time it took to build this house, a four-year period from 1884 to 1888, it, it needs to be remembered why it took so long is because there were no power tools at that time. Everything in this house was handcrafted, most of it on site. Very little of the house, with the, the exception would probably be the stained glass windows, the uh, leaded uh, glass, uh, jeweled glass windows that we have here. Those were brought in, not local, but everything else was hand done in this home. And that'll explain the four years it took to create this house. Um, from the woodwork, the tile work, again, what I mentioned earlier, the, the plaster work on the walls, the lights being hung, uh, et cetera. All of this was done without power tools, just by hand, by artists. I'm Erin Siegel, uh, the president and owner of the mansion. And uh, we live here and we do bed and breakfast and tours every uh, uh, summer. and. Uh, uh, my grandmother, Mrs. Anna Cody, bought the house in 1953. Uh, my mother uh, inherited the house when my grandmother died in 1964, and she uh, started doing, making all these little businesses. She started doing weddings and dinner parties, and and uh, uh, eventually opened the house as a bed and breakfast. The interesting thing about the house is that when my grandmother bought it in 1953, it was an empty building. So she and my mother spent about 60 years collecting all these beautiful pieces that are in the house and leaving them here for us. Yes, all the loose pieces that belonged to Clark were removed from this house in 1934 when the um, Hanson Meat Packing Company took over this house. And they were auctioned off locally so that we've been able to get some things back, as Aaron mentioned. But the thing to remember as you walk through this home and even when you enter the front door and just look at it, Everything that's tied down here is original to 1888. This house was never stripped or gutted. So the combed plaster work, the woodwork, the floors, the watercolor frescoed ceilings, the oil ceilings, um, everything you see that's tied down, with the exception of some paint on the walls, um, is, is original to 1888. And that's significant in Butte because so many mansions here were stripped, gutted, ceilings lowered, everything partitioned and turned into apartments or businesses, etc. So this is a gem in Butte. This is really an example of Victorian architecture that has not been touched or messed with in any way.